So you had a very interesting past experience, right? So, I mean, you were in venture, but you also have founded other companies as well. Can we talk a little bit about what you were doing prior to Altruist? Yeah, absolutely. So some of the venture things I've been involved in are more recent. I think, you know, the bulk of my career, I started off as an engineer. I had no interest really in financial services. I wanted to build, um, this is going to show my age a lot, but I wanted to build the next great dot com, right? Because when I was coming up, that's what we called tech companies or dot coms. Really. Um, software companies felt like old school, you know, but like in the internet era, you know, I kind of grew up in the late 90s, early 2000s, kind of came into my adulthood, I should say. And and it just so happened that the dot-com bubble just blew up <laughs> in a bad way, right? Not blew up in a positive way. The bubble burst. I found myself working in finance largely because there was a, a lot larger demand, you know, for sort of engineers and even financial engineers, quants, people like that in finance. And that's how I got into the space. But I came from a small farming community in Western Michigan. I mean, people kind of almost don't believe me when I tell them that the town I grew up in, the population is like 250 people. <laughs> so it's really, really small. Um, <laughs> The um, prospects of working on Wall Street, right, being a quant are very unusual from that kind of upbringing. <laughs> but it really, those were the things that like helped shape kind of how I am today, the various business I've built over the years, because they've always kind of taken this approach of like, you know, sort of small town boy trying to make good. 